Hello, Seema. Welcome back or welcome, welcoming me back into your show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, Aman. It's a pleasure to have you again. So, Seema, I think we've been, uh, we've hit a thread here and we're trying to cover the different turns in this thread. We started with retained earnings and what happens when you start earning beyond a certain threshold and you don't have enough spendings. And the first topic that we covered is uh, uh, company insured retirement planning or a corporate owned insurance policy. What are some of the other things? Um, so you had mentioned a few, let's, re let's refresh them. And can you hone in on what you wanna to cover today? Sure, I mean, I thought, you know, we are talking about retained earning and how they get trapped into the corporation and without paying individual taxes, there's no way of getting them out. So we're basically looking at different strategies of taking that money out without having to donate 50% of that money to CRA or, or up to 50% to CRA. So of course, like you said, we talked about corporate owned insurance policies. Um, today, I thought we'd talk about something very, very simple that a lot of people have not heard about or have not utilized, and that is health spending accounts. Interesting. So, Seema, I mean, before we get there, like, you know, if I have um, a group insurance plan or through my association or through my work, it, like, is health spending account something still of interest to me? Oh, absolutely. If you are an incorporated professional and you have um, a lot of the Ontario doctors, for example, they have Ontario Medical Association uh, coverage um, mm -hmm. that they that they sign up for and pay for mm -hmm. throughout their working life. Mm -hmm. But as you know, uh, with group insurance, there comes maximum limits okay. for, for certain expenses. Mm -hmm. um, one of those example would be um, I have four children and all four of them need braces. Now braces per person in a, in a typical group plan uh, would cover maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars lifetime per person. Right. Now if I am a professional and I'm going to spend twenty four thousand dollars because average is about six thousand dollars per child for uh, for braces and I'm going to get back four thousand that that just means that I put $20,000 out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. And when you calculate $20,000 out of your pocket, it's actually $40,000 out of your pocket, right? right? So I think health spend, and this is just one example. There are so many, like massage therapists, naturopaths, chiropractors, everyone is limited um, to a certain amount under a group plan. But with, uh, with health spending account, um, this is an account that's provided to me uh, as a health professional, for example, I would be able to take corporate money mm -hmm. and take it out for those expenses without any tax consequences. That just seems magic to my ears. Of course, there are limits. Okay, C CRA has, uh, you can't say that this year I've had an expense of $200,000. <laughs> that wouldn't work. So we'll be looking uh, deeper into that benefit today. Okay. I mean, I think that's a great setup. So is there, is there something that we're going to share with the audience that talks about uh, this? I do have a couple of slides. So let me... All right, Evan. So we're going to be talking about health spending account today and its benefit um, to health professionals or uh, individual business owners. So let's look at the uh, group benefit plan first. We pay a premium to get the coverage, right? right? There is a deductible in most cases that you pay for first, and then your benefits are paid out. Of course, everything has a maximum limit. So if you spend over the limit, that is not covered by the group insurance. Okay, the claim process could be uh, a daunting at times. Um, when you put through all the paperwork, getting pre-approval for certain things. And of course, health premiums is something that people need to understand is that group benefit, medical, dental, they are called reimbursement policies. So the premium that goes in, that same premium comes out as benefits. 
So when we make overuse of our benefits, so for example, if a health professional is paying $4,000 a year for group insurance and making a claim for $6,000, um, for sure their next year premium is gonna increase, okay? Yes. And when that premium increases, nobody likes it. But the fact is these are reimbursement policies, whether individual or group, and they have to increase premium to accommodate extra cost. Right. So uh, Amman health spending accounts are a little different. What they do is basically you're funding um, from your own money directly for that medical expense. Okay. So your question is very valid. If I already have a group insurance policy, would I benefit from having a health spending account? Yes. So the one that I use for most health professionals um, is, is a plan that has no cost except for an annual fee. That's, that's very, uh, very um, you know, music to my ears, if I were to set it that way. Because the first thing that people ask about when you talk about the plan is, okay, how much is the cost? That's right. And, and in, in most cases, you, you'd be looking at uh, government taxes, admin fee, commission fee. With health spending account, especially for health professionals, there is a plan that would charge only an annual fee and nothing else. So suppose I paid a $450 or $500 once a year, yeah. and I was able to withdraw up to $15,000 from my corporation for all the health benefits that I want to enjoy. Okay, whether it's chiropractor, massage therapist, orthodontist, dentist, root canal, I can name so many. Okay. So, so, so Sima, I just want to hone in on something you said. So the 15,000, can my corporation write it off as an expense? So yeah, because they are paying for your health benefits. This is considered a health plan provided by your corporation to you and your family. So. Okay. The amount spent goes out of your pocket and you are the one funding that account with your corporate dollars, not okay. individual dollars. Got it. And, and then when I, when I submit that claim and that money comes into my personal bank account, is it considered as a taxable benefit? No, it's not. Okay. So, so I get the deduction or as we say, our cousin gets the deduction on the, on the, um, on the incorporated side and the individual gets the money reimbursed tax-free. That's right. And that is the purpose of this account because a lot of times what was happening is that even a high income earner, they were not able to fund um, their own health requirements or health necessities, even though they had money in their corporation. So health spending account, I think this is one of the best ways of using um, your health expenditure to take money out of your corporation and fund it. Because remember, I mean, if you're funding it with your individual dollars, your right. individual dollars are taxed at the highest rate. Right. Okay, so for me to fund $15,000 health, um, health spending, I would have to withdraw $30,000 additional from the corporation. But if corporation funds it directly, Corporation only pays out $15,000. So I think it's a great use of this benefit that's provided by CRA. Unfortunately, there is a limit and we can't go over that limit, but even up to that limit, I would not say no to $15,000 a year. No, I need to lie. So, and so just one clarification, what about my dependents um, and my spouse? Can they also be covered? So, as a health professional, you are an employee of the corporation and your family is covered. Your okay. children are covered. Okay. Yeah, Sima, it seems like that odd case of you can have your cake and eat it too. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure with your uh, viewers find advantage in this and uh, can enroll in this opportunity. Absolutely. And there is no cost, very convenient. The company we use um, has everything online. So there is no need for you to meet with anybody in person and discuss, and you could discuss over Zoom with us and we can set it up for you by sending you a link and you do the rest. Everything is done for you online. 
Okay, that's that's even like you know it's the cake and having it and with the cream. With the <laughs> with the cream. With the cherry on top, maybe. With the cherry on top. I really love that. That's thank you right. so much, Seema. That's right. Thank you so much, Aman. I want to thank you because you've been helping me bring out these benefits, and it was such a great idea to say, why don't we have these small messages so that people can make use of? And you must have noticed from all the comments and emails that we get. People are enjoying these messages. So I want to thank you for bringing out that idea to us. Okay. Thank you so much, Seema. My pleasure. Enjoy your week. And I look forward to meeting you next week with another uh, great topic. Me too, Seema. Take care. Have a great weekend.